Hello again, I wanted to show you a really cool thumbnail checking utility that's available for content creators. This is kind of designed for YouTube, but honestly, after you get a chance to look at it, and since most thumbnails use the same basic aspect ratios, you can probably use this for just about any thumbnail that you would associate with online video. This thing is super, super cool. It is called thumbsup.tv and you can find it at thumbsup.tv. Hello, <laughs> it's a really cool thumbnail checker. And all you need to do in order to check a thumbnail is to just drop it in. You can just drag and drop it and it will upload it really quickly to the web and it will give you an idea of what that thumbnail will look like at various sizes. What's cool about this is because a lot of times people will make really, really complicated thumbnails that won't necessarily translate when you look at them on a smaller screen like this. Now, this wasn't really made for a YouTube video. This is for something else, but it was a good example that when you get down into the mobile sizes, your thumbnail won't look as good as you think it will. So let me drop in another thumbnail to kind of show you a common mistake that we all tend to make is putting way too much text on a thumbnail. So when you look at this and you see it at really, really tiny sizes, you'll realize that you kind of overshot that one. You might've gone a little bit too complicated. Now, again, this particular one was for a Twitter post, but it was done at the proper ratio. But you can tell by looking at this guy, it is just way too small. If you click on this, it'll give you the op opportunity to see the full size, but really, really cool thumbnail checker. I'll drop in just one more real quick for you. And oh, it's saying that one is too big. So I'd have to shrink that first, but it will show you the example, but it's trying to tell you that if you were to upload that to YouTube, YouTube would reject that thumbnail because again, that thumbnail is too large. Again, you see some of these thin text as I get down here and look at these is just a little bit too small. So guys, if you want to check out a really cool thumbnail tester, go to thumbsup.tv and check your thumbnails. Make sure you aren't overcomplicating your thumbnails so that no one will be able to see you as you put your videos out. Now, thumbnail theory is very controversial and there's a lot of conversations about it. If you'd like to know more about creating cool looking thumbnails, that will be engaging and attract people to click on your videos, then drop a comment down below and I will do a tutorial on creating thumbnails because it's kind of the first thing people see before they click to see your video. I was going to comb through my old, old videos and find some really horrible thumbnails, but I was kind of running short on time. So I just wanted to get this out. You can actually even just paste in the URL on this box if you don't have access to the full thumbnail to give yourself a look. Remember, a lot of your viewers are gonna be coming from mobile phones and not all mobile phones are large, so you wanna be careful how you design your thumbnails. I hope this helps you out. If you would like to know more, make sure you press the subscribe button, press the like button and ring the bell so you can get more when I post another video. Now, the YouTube algorithm is gonna show you a couple of things that they want you to see. I kind of agree with them. Aloha.